What's up guys? It's Coach Alex here with Coach Jeb. He'll be demoing for me. We have a warm up to prime you for clean and jerks. Now, a quick note, this should not be the only priming that you do before you lift. So please be sure to spend five to 10 minutes doing a general full body warm up before you head into this one. So first things first, um, this first section, by the way, all of the movements are going to be seven reps each. You can hold on to the bar the whole way through if you want. You can take breaks between whatever works best for you. But each movement will build on the next so you can hold on to the bar the entire time. So Jeb's gonna go ahead and pick it up. We'll start with the empty bar. If you feel good and you wanna build up in weight as we go, great. Otherwise, empty bar is fine. So he's gonna start standing with the bar uh, at his hips, long arms and he'll do seven RDLs. So a soft bend in the knees, send the hips back, keeping the chest proud. Notice that his back is staying flat as he hinges at the hips, and he's keeping that bar nice and close to his legs the whole way through. That's gonna require squeezing those lats, those big muscles there beneath and behind the armpits. So we don't wanna let that bar fall away. Would you show what that looks like, Jeb? where you relax the shoulders. And you can see how there's more space now between the bar and his legs. So make sure you're pushing that bar back as you do those RDLs. Nice. From here, we're gonna move into seven clean pulls. So this is where we start to build acceleration from mid shin as we lift the bar up from the ground. Good. When the bar gets to about mid thigh, Jeb's gonna drive through the feet, squeeze his knees, squeeze his butt, squeeze his belly and finish with that big aggressive shrug. And again, our objective here is just to start getting the bar moving upward so that we can prime getting ready to get underneath the bar for the cleans. One more, Jeb. Excellent. Then he's gonna pause here. He's getting set up for the next movement, which are hang muscle cleans, Jeb. So he's gonna send the hips back, bring the bar to about the knee, then he's gonna drive through the legs, stand up hard and fast, pulling the bar up the belly, up the torso, rotating the elbows under and through, and receiving the bar at his shoulders with a relatively loose grip, something that allows for him to get his elbows nice and high so that he can shelf the bar there. One more, Jeb. Excellent. Hold here. Next, we're going to move into seven front squats. So if you're not already, go ahead and establish your squat stance a little bit wider, maybe under shoulders. Still a relatively loose grip, elbows high. He's gonna send the hips down and back. Excellent. When he hits the bottom, he's gonna pop right back up. Notice his elbows are staying high. He's not letting them drop forward. He's keeping his chest proud. If you can, get your hips below your knees. Remember, we're prioritizing keeping that low curve in the low back. So if you feel that starting to pull out of position, just stop a little sooner. After those seven front squats, Jeb's going to drop the elbows a bit, regrip on the bar, get a fuller grip. From here, he's gonna move into seven presses. So if you wanna spend your first three or four reps doing strict presses, where we're keeping the lower body out of the equation and just pressing up from the shoulder. And then after you've done three or four reps of those, you can move into something a little bit more explosive. So a push press where we dip at the hips and knees, drive that bar aggressively overhead with some help from the legs. Notice his finished position. His biceps are behind his ears. Head is reaching through the window. He has a good firm lock out of the elbows. From here, pause. The last movement in this section, he's gonna lower the bar to the back rack. Excellent. And this is just to prime your front rack. So he's gonna do seven elbow rotations on both arms. Excellent. So just take your time moving one elbow up and forward while still holding onto the bar. Don't wanna let go of that, right Jeb? Nope. <laughs> Once you've done seven on both arms alternating, you can feel those lats start to open up, feel your forearms start to stretch a little bit. Then you can go ahead and pop the bar back up and over. Probably a good time to set it down, maybe. What do you think, shake it out? Nice. So that's the first part. Again, you can move forward, continuing with the empty barbell, or if you wanna add 10, 15 pounds, that works too. He's gonna pick the bar back up. And now we're actually gonna move into some different variations of the clean and jerk. Now, 
Depending on what you are doing in this workout or in this lifting session, if you're only focusing on power cleans, then just do that here. If you're doing squat cleans, do that here. If it doesn't matter, probably do a little bit of both. Um, so he's gonna start, we're just gonna do three reps of each with just a high hang clean and jerk. Whenever you're ready, Jeb. Nice, good. So the high hang means that the bar is really not gonna travel any further down the leg than where he is at the hip. Now for the jerk, you can do push or split. Nice, good. So that's a push jerk where he's just keeping his feet in line with each other and splitting them out into more of a squat stance. He's driving the bar up and then using that opportunity to drop beneath the bar and use his legs to complete the lift. One more of those. Excellent. Once you've done three high hang clean and jerks, he's gonna move the bar back to the hip. This time we're gonna do low hang clean and jerks. So to just above the knee, then we're gonna transition back to the mid thigh, drive up, excellent. And a jerk, lovely. And let's go back to the knee for this one, yes. Wonderful, excellent. On this last rep, Jeb, let's do a low hang squat clean okay. and a split jerk. Excellent, so you'll notice for that last rep, instead of catching high in a power position, he caught with his hips below his knees. Hold here if you can, yeah. And then for the split jerk, remember, the forward knee should not come over the toe, so he's keeping it over his ankle. Back knee is bent, heel is out. He's gonna step back with his forward leg to finish. Step forward with the back leg, excellent. And last variation is the full clean and jerk. So full with an empty bar for us is just gonna mean lowering down to mid shin or with bumper plates, they would be touching to the floor now. Whenever you're ready, bud. Excellent. Nice. Good. And two more reps. And again, just like the clean pull earlier, notice he's keeping the bar really close to the body. Excellent. And he's using that opportunity in the jerk as the bar is traveling upward to drop beneath it so that his legs are doing more of the work. Nice. Well done, Jeb. All right, guys, if you did, again, if you wanna go through that second section, again, building up in weight, that'd probably be a great idea, depending on what the workout is, what the lifting session will require. Um, but that should get you ready for clean and jerks.